take time to reflect ups and downs failure and success this is all part of your life but when you just fail from one mark or two mark you feel really bad that just one mark i wish i could have got one mark and you know how the clear so you need to reflect in that time and see what exactly went wrong you think that oh time management was the issue so for next time i'm going to practice with a timer if you think computer was the issue i will practice more questions on computer if you think i left some syllabus areas i did not complete the entire syllabus then make sure you complete the entire syllabus not just for this paper but going forward for all your exams <laughs>
So the next time I'm going to practice with a timer. If you think computer was the issue, I will practice more questions on computer. If you think I left some syllabus areas, I did not complete the entire syllabus, then make sure you complete the entire syllabus. Not just for this paper, that second exam that you will give, but going forward for all your exams. Because let's be honest, we all want to clear in first attempt and get done with it, right? But it might not happen all the time and that is absolutely all right so that is important the second thing that you need to now do is book your next session yes enough of sulking enough of feeling sad it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel irritated but now what next you have to move on right so you have to book your next session next sitting whichever you're giving so let's say you give in december you do not clear not to worry you Full focus, you give in March, provided you do not have any other commitment. So you need to make sure that, okay, if you're giving that paper another time, so don't think that, oh, since I'm giving this another time, you know, let me combine two or more papers and because I don't have to focus on that much. No, don't do that. Focus on that exam. Make sure you're clearing it in this time and not only just clearing it, give in your more than 100% so that you clear it with good marks like I did. So book on your next session and book because then you have a target. Okay, this date is my exam. So you are going to be then working towards it. And the third and the very important thing that you need to do is prepare an action plan. That yes, what went wrong, how I can improve it. This is the day my exam is going to be. So how should I go about it? So once you have, let's say, figured out that, okay, maybe the time management was the problem or I did not practice enough, I did not give mock exam, whatever is the issue, work on it. Complete your entire syllabus again. Don't just think that, oh, I've already studied, you know, I'll just do a few questions and I'll clear it. I just failed from one mark or two marks. No, don't do that mistake. When I failed, I literally solved each and every question which was there in the book, you know, whichever material I was using. So I you know, given more than 100%. So make sure you practice a lot. I'm not asking you to do millions of questions and, you know, do new questions. Whatever you studied, whatever book material you were using, use that again, do all those questions, practice more, make sure giving mock exams. And, you know, because in your mock exam, then you will realize that, okay, if I'm clearing this with the good marks, then I should be clearing my main exam also. So make sure giving more, make sure you're completing entire syllabus area and working on time management as well. And I'm sure you would clear it in the next attempt. And in case you don't, again, in case you don't, it is fine. Don't feel sad or demotivated. Don't feel like why this is happening with me again and again. Why this subject? It is okay. You know, like I said, success, failure, this is all part of life. You know, ups and downs, these things are there in your life. They test you. So how you work towards it, how you go through it is what will, you know, at the end matter. So stay motivated. I know it is disheartening. I know it is irritating. It's, you know, and you see all of this also motivation talk. Sometimes you get irritated, uh, you know, been through all of that. But I want to tell you, it's okay. It's worth it. At the end, just think about it. Once it's all done, it's going to be worth it. Right. So stay motivated and, you know, I'm sure your family would be there to support you. Friends are there. Pindram is always there to support you in case uh, you were doing self-study and you did not hear and you need some guidance. Uh, maybe you just want to take a revision boot camp, question marathon sort of a thing. We have that on our platform. You can visit our website. Or if you are already our student, you can reach out to us also. So all the very best. Book on the next session, like I said, and have an action plan ready. And I'm sure you'll do your best. Till then, this is Disha Chauhan signing off.